so for monte carlo simulation we always require a random number which is uh, we can get in excel using uh, equal to r a n d and then parenthesis so if, if i just uh, say enter then it will give me a random number which is between 0 and 1 so uh, i can click on double click on this cell again and then press enter then again it will give me an entirely different number so double click again enter double click again enter right it's a random number and now um, if I want a random number between minus 1 and 1 then what I have to do is just modify this uh, equation a little so instead of writing just R A N D parenthesis I will say 1 minus 2 into R A N D so now suppose uh, I have a random number of 0.5 so it will multiply it by uh, 2 and then subtract it from 1 so I will get 0 if I run a number of 0 then it will uh, just multiply by 2 which will be 0 and then subtract from 1 it will be minus 1 uh, it will be 1 so therefore you can uh, go from minus 1 to 1 if I use this equation so again I'm, I enter here I get 0 0.63 double click enter again I get 0 0.79 so it's uh, again uh, right now it's not showing a negative number but if I keep trying to see now it's got a negative number of 0 0.77 uh, I can also copy this random number again here so now I have two random numbers uh, one in uh, column B and one in column C uh, now uh, let's write one here and two here so that we can get uh, a series or counting of these random numbers here and then copy these random numbers uh, down so now we have a set of uh, random numbers from one to nine and let's call this column x and then let's call this column y now uh, we can copy this number uh, again uh, until as much as we want let's do it until um, 1000 so right now I do it until 1000 here now we have 1000 number both in column x and column y so let's select both column X and Y and say insert and then say scattered. So now we get a scattered plot which has this number plotted. Let's call this. So now this is a scattered plot uh, of these numbers uh, from minus 1 to 1 in X axis and minus 1 to 1 in Y axis. And this is a rectangle with length of 2 and height of 2 now here we have defined a rectangle now let's define a circle uh, within this rectangle of uh, radius 1 so uh, we know that uh, the equation of a circle is uh, uh, x uh, square plus y square uh, is equal to r square but here uh, we are defining a radius of 1 that's for x square plus y square is equal to 1 so now if we write uh, if statement here so I say is equal to if uh, x square plus y square is uh, let me put one bracket here is less than 1 then write uh, x uh, otherwise write 0 so now get this and then again copy the same equation and say uh, if uh, x square plus y square is less than 1 then write y here so now uh, what I'm doing here is now copying x and y in these two columns if uh, x square plus y square is less than 1 otherwise it will write 0 so I can copy this again now and I can see that uh, it copies the number and then if I go until so now I can see that sometimes I have zeros and sometimes I have the numbers so, so whenever the point is outside the circle it gives a zero now if I plot this two series uh, again then instead of getting I can delete this um, so instead of getting a rectangle now I am getting a sphere and the radius of the sphere is 1 and the center is 0 0 and it goes from minus 1 to 1 and this is how uh, I have uh, what I have done is uh, 
selected the points which are within the circle and if the points are not within the circle uh, in this rectangle then I just make them 0 and 0 so now I define a circle here let's put this graph here and now let me again copy this equation and write it here and say that if it's less than 1 then write 1 here otherwise write 0 okay so I kept 0 and then again copy this equation and say write 1 and otherwise even write 1 so in this case it will always write 1 and in this case it will write 1 only when the point is inside the circle now again I copy these numbers and go down all the way to 1000 points and then I see that uh, sometime uh, this column is 0 and sometime 1 but this column will always remain 1 so now if I sum all these numbers it says sum and then goes down and uh, sum all these numbers so I got uh, 776 which is number of points which are within the circle and then if I copy it again so I get number of points which are on the rectangle so obviously all the numbers are on the rectangle so we will get 1000 and these are the numbers which are not in the uh, rectangle uh, which are in the circle but uh, which uh, whichever is outside the circle has been removed so now if I say uh, what is uh, this number divided by this number so this will be equal to uh, area of circle divided by area of rectangle and that is equal to 780 divided by 1000 so now this is my uh, area but as we know that area of the rectangle is 4 so if I multiply this number by 4 I'll get the value of pi now you are wondering that value of pi is 3.14 so why it is 3.104 and this is because we have uh, only 1000 point for calculating this pi so if we increase the number of points we will get much closer so now let's double click uh, on this pi and press enter so I say the value of the pi has changed to 3.244 and this is because uh, its uh, uh, its value uh, is again recalculated and again because of the poor statistics uh, my value fluctuates but if I do this step again and again for thousands of times then the mean will be 3.14 so uh, another uh, way to uh, increase the statistics is just to uh, uh, go instead of 1000 points we can go to 10,000 points so suppose now I am here and I just uh, copy all this uh, equations again and then go down and go down uh, and keep going down until suppose uh, uh, maybe uh, let's go to 10,000 points so now if I copy it very badly no it's going more than 12 let's make it uh, around uh, 12,000 it doesn't, it doesn't matter so we go up and then in, 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 in this uh, uh, sum instead of putting 1,000 let me put one more zero and then same here so I can see that now my value of pi is much closer so if I click again and enter says 3.14 I can click again press enter 3.148 click again and enter 3.16 so now the fluctuation is much less the standard deviation of the number is much less and we are much closer to the mean value which is 3.14 so if I instead of using 10,000 point if I use 100,000 points then uh, I will get much much closer value uh, of what it should be of the pi so this is how we can calculate the pi so we followed a simple step we define a rectangle then put a condition that whenever the point is inside the circle choose that point then from that do we get the area of the circle and then from area of the circle we calculated the value of pi i hope this uh, tutorial will help thank you